Well, hi everyone, I'm Andrew Miller and this is Idea Dispenser. Cheers! I just got back from a week in Toronto, Canada, where I was attending and presenting at the CHI conference, the Computer Human Interaction Conference. I got a mug to celebrate. This was my second time as a first author at the CHI conference and I've been going since 2006. So I figured it would be interesting to explain to you how I see the CHI conference things we might change, and what it means for me as an academic. So, conferences have a special place in academia. They're a little bit different from an exposition where people are sharing their wares and making sales. An academic conference, and Kai is a great example of one, is a place where academics go to present research to each other and to connect with each other. Conferences are particularly important for academics because of a couple of reasons. First, we, we work in sort of social isolation in a certain sense. So I work in, a, in an office, I have many colleagues, other students, other faculty, but no one else in my building works on exactly what I'm working on. And that makes sense, right? A, a university doesn't want to have a number of different faculty and students who are all doing the same kind of work. But what it does mean is that although I interact with a lot of really smart people on a daily basis, the people whose opinions I most value when it comes to my research are often people that I don't interact with on a daily basis. And the conference might be my only time to see them during a given year. There's another factor of conferences that is specifically useful for academics, and that's because we don't really like to share a lot about our in-progress work. We're kind of secretive. Part of this is just that we don't want to get scooped by each other. It's quite valuable to be the first person publishing on a particular topic. But I think most of it is just that we are really concerned that when we say something in an academic context, it's as true as we can possibly make it. And what that means is that on a day-to-day -day basis, while I'm writing my papers or doing my analysis, I don't know yet. I don't even know when I submit it. It's not until I go through the peer review and editing process that I really feel confident that I have something that the community would find valuable. And so what that means is that conferences are often the first time that I hear what people I ostensibly know quite well have been doing in the past year or several months. And that's really valuable. I want to know what are the theories people are using, what are the new techniques, and how could my research contribute to those conversations. And a conference does all of that for an academic. CHI is a particularly overwhelming conference. It is one of the largest conferences in the ACM, which is the major computing organization. About 3,000 people attend CHI each year, and there are 16 parallel tracks going on at CHI. And what that means is that at any given time, you have a lot of choices about what to do. And it's not like there's a lot of wasted time. A typical CHI paper, it goes through peer review just like any other paper, is about 8,000 words long. It's 10 pages, single spaced, 11 point font, and you get 15 minutes to present it. And what that means is that it's impossible to see everything and it often feels like the conference is bursting at the seams. This causes problems for reviewers as well because there are so many different ways of valuing a piece of research and oftentimes reviewers even on a single paper might not agree because of the breadth of research presented at CHI. Conferences are also particularly strange in computer science because in addition to being a place where we gather to talk to one another, they are also serving as our primary publication venues. So a CHI paper is really important because it is the premier publication venue for computer-human interaction research. There is a journal associated with CHI, but almost all of those papers started out as CHI papers. A lot of other disciplines use the journal as their primary publication venue, and then the conference is a place to discuss in-progress work or work that's been published elsewhere. Computer science needed a way to publish more quickly, and so we used the conferences as the primary publication venues as a way to get research out more quickly. I found it super valuable as an author to be there to have others who I value attending my session where I was presenting, and I found it valuable as an attendee because I know that everything that I'm seeing, all of the presentations, 
are really top-notch and really do represent the state of the art. The end result is an experience that is varied and very high quality. So Kai is a lot of things all at once. It's a place for academics to talk to each other. It's a place for academics and practitioners to interact. And it's also an opportunity for us to share our work with the broader community. So Georgia Tech, for example, even sent someone to document each day of Kai and to help share our research with publications, with the broader public at large. And that makes a lot of sense because a lot of this research is funded by the public. I'm interested to hear if this is what your conference experience was like. If you are from another academic discipline, I'd love to hear how you feel that journals and conferences interact. If you went to Kai and we missed each other, I would love to connect and find out what you're doing. And if you like this video, go ahead and press the like button, subscribe for more videos, and leave a comment below. And I will see you guys in two weeks. Thanks.